Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I cover nostalgic, obscure, or otherwise strange content. Lately, I've been really nostalgic for the Disney Channel shows that I watched when I was a kid. I've been putting them on via Disney Plus when I edit sometimes and watching them with my dad. <laughs> and one of my go-to shows back in the day was The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. I think anybody my age remembers this show crystal clear. And one episode that always stuck out to me was The Ghost in Sweet 613. I think this is a pretty classic episode to most people. Uh, and I haven't watched it in a really long time, uh, but I used to know it word for word. And I recently found out that for whatever reason, this whole episode is on YouTube. So I will link it down below if you want to go watch it. But I thought we could watch it together. Um, going into spooky season, it's got that vibe. So uh, yeah. Let's just jump into it. If you remember, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody was a show about a pair of twins that lived in a really swanky hotel because their mom was a singer there. I think everybody knows that, but just in case you don't, catching you up. God, that's loud. When I left, there was a room under this mess. So this episode starts with Cody being made to clean up because apparently a missile went off while the mom was gone. I don't know how you create this level of mess. Zack jumps out from under the pillows and scares him. I've always wondered how he could breathe for that long under there. And then they push each other down, and I can't help but wonder if all these pillows are strategically placed so that when they push each other down, nobody gets hurt or sued. <laughs> Why are you cleaning the carpet with your brother's face? Cody tries to tattle on Zack for always pranking him. Zack scared me again! You know that Cody is sensitive. <laughs> and their mom's just like, Zack, you know your brother's kind of a wuss. Can't you just leave him alone? Why do you try to scare him? And believe it or not, that's gonna be important later on. Here I am in your life. Oh, and also here's a little clip of the theme song just in case uh, you want something to be in your head for like two weeks straight. It's you and me, and me and you, we got the whole place to ourselves. The next day, Zack humiliates Esteban in front of everybody. <laughs> Which is not cool. Poor Esteban's just doing his job. He's got enough to deal with already. <laughs> Poor Esteban. Zach. How did he not know that that was there? Sorry. So Zach's just kind of making friends with everybody today, and he's bragging about how scared Cody was earlier before, and London brings up the ghost in Suite 613. There's a ghost in the hotel? Let's go see it! Uh, maybe later. Cody doesn't want to go see it, he's scared, and Maddie's like, none of this is real, kid. There's no such thing as ghosts. Wrong. As usual. However, if it was, good job to that ghost for dying in the most aptly uh, numbered room of all time. Like, that ghost deserves a plaque. <laughs> ghost of the month. I've seen this ghost. It was so scary, I dropped my new purse. Can we just take a minute to appreciate London's uh, early 2000s fashion? This is amazing. Look at this. As the Zoomers revive 2000s fashion, I'm waiting for this trend to come back. With money in it? Oh, just a regular thousand dollar pill every kid gets for allowance. Thousand dollar pills don't exist, right? Right? <laughs> okay, so there was one, but it was discontinued in 1969. I know I'll never see a thousand dollar bill in my entire life, but I just had to know, you know? <laughs> Hey, it's Mrs. Potato Head. <laughs> I love her. Where's Sweet 613? Over there. If you value your life, don't go in there. Let's go in! Spoken like a couple of true millennials. <laughs> Told her there was a ghost? Her name was Irene. All right, are you ready for some backstory on the ghost in Sweet 613? Provided by Muriel and London, because that's what you're about to get. She was beautiful and rich. Oh, think me with less money and probably not as pretty and dead. Okay, pretty, rich, dead. I'm, I'm following you. Irene and her husband checked in on their honeymoon night and the next day he went off to war. Damn, they couldn't even let him come back from his honeymoon? Harsh. So he died in battle? Oh no, he... <laughs> oh, my allergies act up just watching that happen. He met some Italian babe and opened up a pizza parlor in Naples. <laughs> 
Well, that sucks for the ghost. I wonder what kind of pizza they made, though. <laughs> she threw the silver hairbrush he'd given her at the mirror, and a shard flew out, and that was the end of that. <sighs> Ugh. So the ghost in Sweet Six Thirteen apparently hit a very violent end for a kid's show. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Duh! <laughs> But hey, calm down everybody, it's just Arwen. I love Arwen. The force is strong in this one. <laughs> have you ever seen the ghost? I have seen Muriel in a hairnet. <laughs> Poor Muriel. I have something really scary to deal with. The toilet in 620. <gasps> <gasps> Ugh. This show did have a very good cast, especially um, adults on the show, like Mosby, Arwen, Esteban, Carrie. They're all really good, and they never get enough credit. I know the actor who plays Esteban has a TikTok that he uses solely to uh, interact with kids that are nostalgic for the show, and you can just tell that he has so much fun realizing that people loved the show and the work that he did on it, and I just, I think he, I think it's really sweet. I love seeing um, actors from kids' shows from back when I was a kid joining uh, TikTok and other social media platforms uh, just to interact with the fan base that still exists. I think that's super awesome. It's ghost! But they knock on the door. It seemingly opens itself uh, in actuality. I'm sure it was just a PA that had to stand behind the door and pull it open, but you know, that's not as fun as thinking about a ghost opening the door. So I won't point that out. That's the ghost of Sweet 613. I never understood this. Did she hang up the portrait of herself in the hotel room when she was there on her honeymoon? Or did somebody go in retroactively and hang the portrait up? Like as tribute. But nobody wants to go in because everybody's a apparently scared of it. It's just confusing, you know? Check out the gargoyles! Well, the gargoyles aren't like specific to the room. There's probably gargoyles all around the hotel if that's the case, right? They put them there to ward off evil. Yeah, and sometimes they um, they lose card games to birds. I'm losing to a bird! There is no ghost, <gasps> but I do see purse! Maddie, you don't announce it to everybody that you found the purse with thousands of dollars in it. You just let everybody else leave and sneak back in after. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Money. Huh, that ghost really did say billionaires shouldn't exist, didn't she? <laughs> Brenda Song is also, in my opinion, one of the most underrated Disney girls. I, I think she never got enough recognition. Save me! She was so funny on this show. <laughs> I will bill you for the hearing aid I now require. Then Mr. Mosby comes in. Everything's better when Mr. Mosby shows up. Tell us about the ghost, or we might have to ask you again when people are checking in. Well, that's not really a threat. Most people would really want to stay in a haunted hotel. I would. <laughs> I had just started working at the Tipton as a bellhop. It was a dark and stormy night. It was a dark and stormy night, and I was working <laughs> diligently. Oh man, I gotta catch me some Z! I love this flashback story that Mosby tells about when he was a bellhop back in the, I assume this is supposed to be 70s or 80s. Don't come for me in the comments for not knowing what decade that's supposed to be. I know I should know. I had heard rumors about room 613, but I didn't believe in ghosts. Okay, scratch that. Definitely 70s. Look at the bell bottoms. Anyway, he's telling the story about how he went into suite 613. Until I felt a sudden rush of cold air, followed by an overpowering aroma of pizza. I could dig a slice. I hate pizza. Well, you're the one making the whole place smell like pizza, lady. Yo, ma'am, I didn't mean to slice of me. Oh, no, Mosby. <laughs> Oh! My voluminous fro saved me from a concussion. <laughs> God dang it, Mr. Mosby. Although I did injure my ankle, I was never able to boogie, oogie, oogie again. R.I.P. Boogie, oogie, oogie. Oh, for fuck's sake, Zach. Jesus. You should have seen your faces! Oh, wait, I can show you your face. That is one of the perks of being a, an identical twin. So I dare you to spend the night with me in suite 613. So Zach dares Cody to spend the night in room 613. Five bucks say you run out first. And he bets him five bucks, which is such a lame bet. I feel like only a 12 year old would, would do something like that for five bucks. But mom will never let us do it. Do what? <laughs> Can't tell tonight in suite 613. Well, so that's a no. I like how Cody thinks he's gonna get an out by like not getting permission 
And then the mom's like, yeah, I'll let my kids go camp out in some random hotel room that may or may not have a killer ghost in it. Sure. We accept your wise and carefully considered decision. It's like any time as a kid that I was invited anywhere that I didn't want to go to because of anxiety. And I would just really hope that my parents had a problem with me going. <laughs> and if they didn't, I would just tell the person who invited me that they wouldn't let me go because I didn't want to. <laughs> What if we got Maddie in London to stay with us? I guess that would be okay. Yeah, I don't want my kids to be unsupervised. Unless they're being supervised by other children. That's probably fine. I mean, I know Maddie and London are supposed to be like 16, but still. Feels like kind of a flimsy stipulation to change your mind so quickly over. But there's no such thing as ghosts. If there were, my mother-in-law would still be haunting me. I feel like Disney Channel had a lot of these where it was like very obvious jokes that were just there to appease the parents in the room that they knew had to sit and watch these episodes over and over and over again. Because there's no 12 year old out there watching the show that's like, yeah, mother-in-laws, am I right? Sorry, I'm late. It's Esteban's fault. Yes. My hernia, my fault. Everybody is so mean to Esteban. Poor Esteban. I thought you said you're going to rough it. I only brought my overnight bag. So they all show up and head into suite 613. Here goes nothing. Here goes my lower back. There's some very well-timed thunder. <laughs> and the lights go out, because everybody knows that ghosts can't show up when the lights are on. That would be anarchy. And it's holding a club! It's not a club, it's a sub. I want a sub. You want some? Arwen's really taking it in stride that every time he showed up so far this episode, everybody's scared to see him. What's so scary about a sandwich? The guy who's eating it. Mean. No offense. None to that. A lot of women say that. <laughs> Including mother. Oh no, Arwen. The ghost didn't knock at the lights, the storm did. No, it was the ghost. Arwen seems into the whole ghost thing too. He's got like a little like ghost robot vacuum thing. I've been trying to see her for years, but tonight is my golden opportunity. He's going into Zach Baggins mode. Why? Because the lightning provides sufficient atmospheric ozone, allowing your instrument to pick up any ectoplasmic manifestations? No, because mother's a bingo and I don't have to be home till 10. Oh, you remember the ongoing subplot about Arwen and his overbearing mother who wouldn't let him have a life of his own even though he was a grown adult? Good times. <laughs> Just as I thought. What? what? I forgot to plug it in. <laughs> so Arwen plugs the thing in and... There we go! This happens. We got about 20 scary abnormalities in this room. Granted, 19 of them are me, but still. <laughs> Arwen just is a vibe. <laughs> How could it be smoking? I think he just built it and it's primarily made of like a bucket. Oh, well, that's terrifying. Did you see that? You mean the face moving, the eyes looking? No, I didn't see that. I did. <laughs> and there's a scary ghost in here, and she's mad. <laughs> Mommy! So Arwen's like, cool, I pissed off the ghost. I'm a dip now. <laughs> Girl, leave the bag. It's not worth it. We must help. Okay, so while Arwen tried the whole Zach Baggins routine. Esteban is going into full Jennifer Love Hewitt routine. I know how to contact the spirit world. He's gonna pull a ghost whisper and try to cross the ghost over, which is very nice of him, if you ask me. You must help the poor tormented ghost cross over to a better place. <gasps> you mean like the St. Mark's Hotel? Where they pay overtime? So the Tipton doesn't pay overtime? What? <laughs> it's okay, Blanky. We'll get through this together. Oh, I have my Blanky. <gasps> So Esteban decides to just have a full out seance from a movie, you know, like a really stereotypical kind of seance. Everyone join hands. <laughs> I meant with each other. <laughs> it makes me laugh every time. I don't know why. So they all hold hands and Esteban starts chanting. Ghosty. You are. Maddie is channeling a spirit. Doves. Come on, Maddie. Who? I'm so scared. <laughs> oh, I'm so scared. Oh, it looked like she really got rammed into the side of that table. Did you see that? I'm calling you. What's going on? I am on hold. God damn it. It's all coming back to me as I watch it, and it's it still makes me laugh. 
and I'm not even sure why. <laughs> This is very similar to like when Sean Spencer would do his fake seances on Psych. She's here. Another joke for the adults in the room. Make it a drinking game. <laughs> Either the table is getting higher or the floor is getting lower. Is this haunted room actually stretching or is it your imagination? Hola, ghosty. Welcome to my- Esteban, no! Who dares to call me in the afterlife? So then Esteban starts channeling the ghosts. Disney Channel was wild back then. My spirit is doomed to languish in agony for all eternity. What is your problem, lady? I was betrayed. I like the concept of getting into a pissing contest with a ghost. Like this entity that's super powerful and has like connected from another realm. And you're just like, what's your problem, Karen? Does anyone smell? Oh, don't ever say that word! Again, you're making it smell like pizza. I love pizza. Oh, well, this isn't gonna end well. <laughs> I don't think she's a ghost. I think she's an X-Men. Hey, pizza! <gasps> Mom's not gonna like this. Spoken like a true sibling. Oh man. My twin brother is now in the ghost realm. I'm gonna get grounded. I've had that thousand dollars. <laughs> I'll take a chance! So now, with three of them spirited away, Zach's getting pretty desperate now. Esteban! Hey! Esteban's gone. Say adios, amigo. So she's a racist ass ghost? That's not cool. What the fuck? I don't remember that. So now Zach's alone and he can't escape. It's very, very bad news for him. They're coming to get you. Did you order room service? I've got your ribs! This episode legitimately freaked me out when I was a kid. Does anybody remember? Sorry, this is this has nothing to do with the episode. I just saw the skeleton and thought of this. Uh, did anybody else play the the PC game back in the day? And I can't remember what it was called, but the the host of the game was a skeleton, and his name was Seymour Skinless. What was that game called? I don't even remember. It was like a health and fitness game. It was like one of those games that tried to trick you into learning about like proper nutrition. It was kind of a lame game, but I remember it so fondly. <laughs> anyway, back to the show. <laughs> So they corner Zack with a bunch of practical gags, and then what do you know? <laughs> it was all a setup. Gotcha! That'll be five bucks. Well, technically, the five bucks was if you managed to stay the whole night, and the night's not over, but yeah, I get the sentiment. Special effects courtesy of Arwen Q. Hawkhauser. <laughs> wow, Arwen is way more talented than they ever give him credit for. <laughs> We're sorry, Zach, but you've played so many practical jokes on us. Hurts, doesn't it? You should not have made me the butt of the gassy noises joke. Or sent me that fake love letter from Orlando Bloom. He took out a restraining order against me. See, I have a lot of questions. Why wasn't the episode about that? Actually, there was an episode, now that I think about it, where Maddie and London were stalking Jesse McCartney. Does anybody want to see a video on that? Because I totally want to do a video on that. It was weird as hell. You should have seen your face. Oh, wait. I can show you your face. Payback's a bitch, isn't it? In the middle of a third encore, why do you need me? So because of all this, their mom gets pulled off stage in the middle of her performance. I assume this is the ruckus to which you were referring? Because there's noise complaints. Their poor mom really goes through a lot, doesn't she? He scared me! He did? I mean, you did? I love how she's like, you traumatized your brother? Good for you! I can't believe you got scared over a little ghost! This hotel has a ghost? Of course not! Yeah, no. Now tell the nice lady you were just pretending! Because a lot of people would pay extra to stay in a haunted room. Oh, he meant no ghost in the hallway! That's what I said. Oh, no <laughs> However, the room is lousy with ghosts! <laughs> yeah, capitalize on that, Mosby. The ghost is gonna be living there for free. They can at least make you some money. <laughs> and then the last scene of the episode, the boys are coming back in because uh, Cody left his blankie there. Excuse me. Is this yours? That's yeah, a dead thanks. lady. Yeah, thanks. Don't mention it. Oh, and she's so polite. Everybody's spreading rumors about this lady, but she's so nice. <laughs> ah! 
So yeah, they run out screaming and that's how the episode ends. They just confirm the existence of ghosts in this universe and then it's never mentioned again. So that is the episode of The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody called The Ghosts in Sweet 613. Does anybody else remember this? I know a lot of you have to because this is like, I think one of the more uh, memorable episodes of the series. Let me know what you guys thought of this episode, uh, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, why or why not, all that good stuff down in the comments below. And let me know like what other episodes of Disney Channel TV you want to see because I have a playlist ongoing, but this will only be the second video on that playlist. So I'd love to do more uh, episodes of Disney Channel television. Like I cover a lot of the movies, but the TV also had its moments too. So that's it for this video. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. Everything you do to support this channel means the world to me. If you're new here and you're a fan of nonsense, maybe consider sticking around because I post nonsense all the time. And remember, my name is Avery. I'm a YouTuber if you say so, because thanks to you guys, this is technically a YouTube channel. Bye.